I've been going to boxing gyms since I'm 15 years old. I've always wanted to box. Every fight I fight in MMA, I was training just like any boxer trained for a boxing match. I don't think I've ever got my ass whipped in a boxing gym and not came back and been the last guy to win the round. Why did you choose an eight round boxing match against Jake Paul for your first fight post UFC? I've been trying to get out of the UFC for a long time. My plan in fighting is always to fight the biggest name and the best uh, fighters there are. I'm, I'm glad I get to come here and showcase my skills in boxing. And I'm fighting Nate Diaz, one of the biggest, one of the biggest MMA fighters, fighters in history. history. It's two people who can't lose, who don't want to lose. And this is probably the biggest fight of the, the year. year. Biggest fight of the year. Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Do you think Jake's spitting off a bit more than he can chew? Nate, he's a donkey. Crazy endurance. Nate is a very good boxer. The OG Nate. Nate I have a favor, Nate. Trying to box. You know, you can't, you can't box. box. Nate. Jake Paul can crack. Diaz, the best there ever was in MMA. Oh! Nate's been boxing high level boxers his entire career. My whole team will fucking beat your whole team's ass. And I'm going to do what Conor McGregor couldn't do, and I'm going to knock this man out. You. How about that? Settle the shit talk and I'm ready for the war. There's war. 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 He hurt it. He hurt it. just shook up the world. He's got him hurt. Oh. Nate Diaz has done it. Nate Diaz, he's leaving the UFC on a win. He wants to come into this game. Dr. California, baby, you already know what's up.